In the lush forest lived Mowgli, a human child who trained with the wolves. Wolves are group animals with a good leader, Akela. Akela accepted Mowgli to live with them and treated him well. When the dry season arrived, the animals gathered at the peaceful lake, the only place that provided water. They didn't attack each other during this dry season. Suddenly, from above, a tiger appeared. It was Sherkin. He sensed the human scent around him and realized that Mowgli belonged to the wolf pack. Sherkin showed the scars on his face caused by humans and promised that when the peace rock sinks again due to the reign of peace, he has the right to hunt, especially to teach Mowgli. After the rainy season arrived, the peace rock disappeared again, and the wolves discussed the threat from Sherkin. Mowgli and Bagheera decided to leave their pack to protect the wolves from harm. They encountered an elephant, revered as the creator of the forest and the source of river flows. Following that, Bagheera instructed Mowgli to head north while he would join him later. A fierce battle ensued between Baloo and Sherkin. Mowgli managed to escape the savanna and joined a herd of buffaloes in their run, while Sherkin lost track of Mowgli from above. At the wolf pack's headquarters, Sherkin confronted Akela. Sherkin demanded that Mowgli be handed over to him instead of being allowed to leave the forest. He went as far as killing Akela, hoping that Mowgli would come to him willingly. Mowgli managed to escape from the forest and stumbled upon a new jungle, where he discovered a large snake skin and some fruits to eat. While Mowgli was engrossed in his meal, a fox approached him. However, another mischievous fox stole Mowgli's fruits. Mowgli lost track of the fox and found himself trapped in a towering tree. It was there that he encountered a snake named Ka. Ka proceeded to enlighten Mowgli about the true nature of humans. Humans have a penchant for carrying red flowers, objects that emit brightness, warmth, and also destruction. At that moment, in a cave, there was a wanderer who protected his child from a tiger attack. Unfortunately, the wanderer was killed, and the tiger was injured by the red flower carried by the wanderer. Then, the child, named Mowgli, was saved by a panther. Mowgli was nearly devoured by a snake, but was rescued by a bear named Baloo. To show his gratitude, Baloo invited Mowgli to retrieve honey from a cliff. Mowgli used a hanging tree branch as a tool to prevent himself from falling. He approached the beehive and successfully gathered honey with the assistance of the animals below. The animals witnessed Mowgli's daring feat and were impressed by his bravery. Following this, Mowgli made the decision to part ways with Baloo, feeling that they had already complemented each other. They ventured together to a certain place and came across a human settlement. Baloo recounted the dangers of the red flower often carried by humans. At first, Mowgli was skeptical, but eventually he decided to leave the jungle. However, Baloo assured him that he could still stay in the forest and assist him in finding honey if he ever felt uncomfortable. Mowgli chose to stay and grew even closer to Baloo. The next day, Mowgli got ready to collect honey in his own way. They were becoming closer here. Bagheera came after Mowgli. Mowgli told him that Baloo had saved him from a snake attack and now they were working together. Mowgli showed the results of their collaboration. Bagheera got mad at Mowgli for teaching human tricks in the jungle. Things got tense here, but Baloo invited Mowgli to go to the human village tomorrow while everyone was asleep. Mowgli left the cave because he heard the sound of elephants. He approached the elephants and then saw something. He hurriedly returned to the cave and grabbed his tools. From a distance, Baloo and Bagheera saw that Mowgli was rescuing a baby elephant. Bagheera explained to Baloo that Shere Khan was targeting Mowgli and that he had already killed Akela. Although shocked, Baloo agreed to take Mowgli to the human village. Then, Baloo approached Mowgli and told him that he was no longer needed. Mowgli, who heard this, felt disappointed and climbed up a tree. Up there, Mowgli was kidnapped by the monkeys. Baloo and Bagheera tried to chase after them. But when the monkeys climbed the cliff, it was difficult for them to pursue. The monkeys took Mowgli into an ancient temple. Inside the temple, the leader of the monkeys appeared, and his name was Louie. Outside, Baloo climbed the rocky cliff and successfully reached the summit. Suddenly, Baloo arrived to interrupt their conversation. He kept talking to divert Louie's attention. From the side, 
Bagheera urged Mowgli to escape. However, one of the monkeys spotted Mowgli. They all started chasing Mowgli and Bagheera, including Louie. Baloo and Bagheera tried to buy time so that Mowgli could escape. Louie found Mowgli and told him that Akila, his father, had been killed by Shere Khan. Mowgli didn't believe it and ran away. Louie kept chasing him. Mowgli managed to escape, while Louie got trapped under the collapsed temple ruins. From up the tree, Mowgli asked about the truth regarding Akela. After receiving the answer from Bagheera, he set off again to defeat Shere Khan. He ran to the human village where Mowgli intended to get the red flower. He obtained a torch and carried it into the jungle towards Shere Khan. From the top of the hill, Bagheera spotted a light down below and tried to chase after it. Meanwhile, some frightened animals witnessed the scene. A few sparks even fell into the forest. Raksha instructed her cub to seek refuge by the riverbank, as all the animals had gathered there due to the red flower. Mowgli also arrived there. He searched for and confronted Shere Khan. Shere Khan approached and revealed that the animals were afraid of Mowgli for setting the forest ablaze. Even Grace the wolf was afraid. Shere Khan challenged Mowgli to fight as his father once did. But Mowgli instead discarded the torch and declared that the forest was his home. As the battle was about to begin, Baloo and Bagheera arrived to defend him, along with Mowgli's mother and the pack of wolves. Now the jungle showdown commenced once again. Bagheera held Mowgli back and instructed him to fight using human tricks this time. Meanwhile, Shere Khan, witnessing Mowgli's escape into the forest, pursued him relentlessly. In the depths of the woods, Mowgli stumbled upon a dead tree that he would utilize as a tool. Shere Khan is already nearby, now it's just the two of them. Mowgli ties a rope and throws it to hang Shere Khan. He got scratched by Shere Khan, but he keeps avoiding him in the tree. When up there, Mowgli lures Shere Khan to follow him. The tiger follows Mowgli. As they got closer, Mowgli jumps onto the rope he made, while Shere Khan falls into the fire due to the broken deadwood on the tree. Mowgli, who survived, meets a herd of elephants. Other animals are confused as the forest burns from above. Mowgli comes with the elephants. These clever animals block the water flow to the river and redirect it towards the forest so that the water can extinguish the forest fire. Over time, Mowgli successfully completes his training with the wolves without being caught by Bagheera. Life returns to normal and good. And then the movie ends.